Hello, and welcome to the Bohemia Interactive iTech booth at iTech 2015. This year we've released a, a number of new products and we're very excited about this. I'm going to talk to you a bit about that now. The first new product we've released is VBS Tactics. It is a very easy to use interface for controlling large numbers of units within the virtual battle space. It seamlessly connects with VBS3 and allows you to use doctrinal maneuvers to control entities in the virtual battle space. It's been developed for three primary use cases. That's administrators or white force, trainees in classrooms like at the Royal Military College, and also for uh, use by commanders in a multiplayer environment. So a commander and his subordinate commanders, and also soldiers in VBS3 can all uh, train together. The second product we've released is VBS IG. We announced it last year, but that product is now available for sale. It is a, a very uh, powerful image generator product. It is completely controlled by the SIGI protocol. We're demonstrating here at the booth a version of VBS IG running a flight simulator with a six channel dome. And we're very happy to see that. We've released our new maritime improvements with VBS 3 3.7. Uh, that includes sea states 0 to 12 and prototype ship physics and a lot of really new effects like ship wakes and 3D bow wakes. We've also released VBS Gateway. VBS Gateway is our new HLAN disk gateway. It's available from VBS 3.7, it's free. We're including that with VBS 3.7 and all future versions of VBS. It supports HLAN disks and also SIGI, allowing VBS 3 to act as a SIGI host. So we're very excited about iTech this year and we'll take you around the booth now. Hi, I'm Steven Jedlicka from Bohemia Interactive. I'm a product manager there. And what we have here is a demonstration of our VBS IG product at iTech 2015. This is a demonstration of a F-16 simulator uh, running six channels of VBS IG. Connected to that is a D-Box chair provided by D-Box, and there's also Visaro providing controllers and joysticks running the demo. It is running through Barco projectors on an immersive displayed four meter dome. The launch of the product is officially at this show and it is available now for purchase. Hi, I'm Martin Carr from Bohemia Interactive Simulations. At iTech 2015, we're very pleased to announce the development of a new technology called VBS Tactics. VBS Tactics allows mission planning and tactical control inside VBS3 and is designed for simulation operations staff, instructors and trainees to develop complex courses of action with doctrinally correct AI behaviours inside VBS3. I'll now demonstrate how easy it is to construct a quick mission in VBS Tactics using the interface. I simply use the touchscreen controls to select my platoon and allocate an assault to the platoon. I can then adjust my control measures and commit the maneuver. When I commit the maneuver, it's populated on the VBS Tactics timeline. This shows me the amount of time it's going to take my platoon to move to the position and the duration of the various uh, components of the assault. I can then take my section and give them a support by fire task to support the platoon attack. Then using the tactics timeline, I can simply select the components, drag them and synchronize them, synchronizing my fire support with the assault. And here in VBS3, we can visualize our plan underway. So here we see the fire support team providing support by fire into the enemy position. And we see the assault group in the distance moving off to assault the enemy. So what we got here is VBS Gateway. It's the new product from Bohemia Interactive. It's in our new version of VBS 3.7. It's going to be the, the premier uh, DIS and HLA gateway. We've got a demonstration here connected to MACE from Battlespace Simulations. And the product is, is using uh, DIS to communicate back and forth. 
Uh, we've got an Apache here uh, showing the connectivity. Uh, this is using disk six. Uh, the product also has a user-friendly interface with shows you all the remote and local entities and allows you to quickly uh, change mappings and modify settings at runtime without having to restart VBS. And this is available in uh, version 3.7. Hi, welcome to iTech 2015. My name is Michael McKinley. I'm a senior GIS analyst and business development manager at Terrasim Incorporated. We are a Bohemia Interactive Simulations company. And here at iTech, we are showing the latest and greatest technologies our company is producing. Uh, first, uh, on the terrain database generation software side, our TerraTools product, we're showcasing advanced VBS support for VBS 3.7. VBS Tactics and VBS IG. We are also showcasing CDB or Common Database Import functionality to drive terrain database generation to other uh, constructive, visual, and serious game simulation formats. In addition, we are showcasing a source data preparation product called Material Map version 1.2, which will feature vector import, pixel reassignments, and aggregation for VBS3 extended surfaces support. Uh, TerraTools 5.1 is expected to be released at the end of quarter three, 2015. Material Map version 1.2 is expected for release at the end of quarter two, 2015. So thanks again. Visit us on the web at www.terrasim.com for more information.